Tonight we're up at OP Rockwell's up here on Main Street where Nathan Rafferty, a Park City local, is telling about his experience doing the Dakar Rally. Let's meet up with him and everyone who came to hear about it to see how crazy and inspiring this story really was. So tonight we had kind of a thank you slash celebration slash Dakar Rally download to um, just talk about the race and uh, how it went and, you know, tell people a little bit more about the whole experience. I would say the most shocking thing is how emotional it all was for these like grown men that have worked so hard and they gave it everything and they were in tears and they gave it their all every day. They crashed, they got back on their bike, they had broken limbs and they kept going. I didn't realize how hard it was and how good of a rider Nathan actually was. What was amazing to me was that Nathan started this when he was 30 years old and to get as good as he has gotten in the amount of time just shows the passion he has for the sport and I'm just really impressed with the guy. There were parts that were really, really cool. You know, you're kind of in a different space when you're trying to get to the finish line, but um, amazing scenery, uh, amazing people down there, tons of support from home, so yeah, it was awesome. It was a really tender moment when Nathan talked about how Finishing the eighth stage out of ten stages was like the most important moment to him because his family came. And so Karen and Sam and all of them were there and he just started like tearing up and it was just like, okay, wow, we can set these goals and accomplish big things, but at the end of the day it's still like our relationships that matter. So that was tender. So I think watching this was so horrifying to me because although I knew Nate was in a dangerous, sandy, sand dune environment. I'm thinking of sand dunes like I used to see at Nags Head Island. Not a big deal. These sand dunes were like mountains and seeing the guys go over them and the crashes and the injuries, he's insane. Karen might be even more insane to let him have gone, but Nate's insane. He's a stud. What I didn't anticipate was how big of an impact it was gonna have on everyone on Facebook watching him at home. I know myself included, I was motivated to go out there and just do way more than I had anticipated that day just because I saw Nate out there crushing it. So thank you for the inspiration, Nate. We love you. We support you. Nathan is an inspiration to me, and it does inspire me to go out and do something new and to crush it. And I'm probably going to go out and try to do something physical. I've done some bike rides with Nathan, but I'm going to do something not as extreme as Dakar, but something that will push me physically. What I'm looking, uh, what I learned from this, I need to make bigger goals and accomplish bigger dreams. It's really cool, really, really cool. Because I'm just like a desk jockey, ski bum. So to go do something like this and have friends and family come out, it's really special. Congratulations to Nathan and thanks for all the work he does here in Park City and with Ski Utah. We're glad he came home safe. Stick around, we've got a lot more on our channel for you.